that's just from last night. For those of you who don't believe me about the bugs here on the prairies, it's a party once the sun goes down. Did you guess baloney, bagoni, baloney, bagoni? What? Try that again. Did you guess balgoni, baloney? You guessed correct. More of our friends have joined us again. We gotta go wipe them off. They're so insistent on being part of the vlog that they just keep coming back. Every time I wipe the windshield, it doesn't take long, and they're back. Clean them off here, grab another coffee. That's all I ever do. I stop, I fuel, I clean the windshield, I drink coffee, I drive, go to bed, repeat. Here we go, all right. Oh yeah, that's that looks good right there, that diesel fuel. Oh, that looks good. Oh, the truck is gonna like that, she's thirsty. Well, it's not perfect, but it's better, right? It's better, I'm not lying. I scrubbed it, but I didn't scrub it that hard because I was, I always say, well, what's the point? You know, you scrub it and spend 10 minutes scrubbing the windshield. It smells like fish, all the dead bugs. Sit out there scrubbing it and 10 minutes down the road, it's exactly the same. So, eh, eh, it did, eh, did a good enough job, I think. So that's a canola field on the right there, guys. I talked to you about that the other day, right? That time you what's rattling in here? Stop rattling. Don't you hate that when something's rattling and it's just out of your reach and it won't stop rattling? And then you stop and of course it's not rattling, so you don't know what was rattling. You just gotta deal with it until it decides to stop on its own. Or you can complain on YouTube and sometimes that helps. Makes me feel better anyways. Gives people in the comments something to complain about. You're complaining again, Trucker Josh! Why are you always complaining? I'm gonna write you a long message complaining about how much you complain. Every time. <laughs> oh, ironic. Six hours to where I'm gonna drop this trailer. And this trailer's going down to Mississippi. And I'm going home. I gotta get all my stuff out of the truck. I don't know why I packed for a, like a three week long trip. I took everything, all my clothes, everything. It's only gone for like what, three nights? I knew that too, but I still packed everything. So I gotta take everything back home. <laughs> At least I was prepared, right? You never know. I'm gonna go home and enjoy that time. And then the rest of the month is gonna be go, 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 go. I've been seeing some fields start to turn gold already. I don't like that. Summers go by way too quick. It's not supposed to be harvest season yet. I'm not ready for it. I've seen combines. I told you, I talked about that yesterday, right? Combines on the fields in the US already online. I'm like, what? What do you guys plant two crops a year down there? Why are you harvesting so early? That's crazy. I bet they can fit two crops in in one year. I don't know. It's pretty intense. It's a lot of work 
being a farmer. I grew up knowing a lot of farmers, obviously. I grew up in southern Manitoba. It's a lot of work, but you know, they love what they do and it's it takes a lot of education. A lot of people in big cities seem to think that farmers are just, you know, redneck dummies that just grow a garden in their backyard every year, you know? It's, no, no, no. My friends, they went through a lot of university and a lot of agricultural studies. And there's a lot of knowledge and wisdom that I don't have that they do that goes into growing these crops for your food. It's not that easy. All the different seeding, seeds and pesticides, herbicides, when to plant, when to harvest, how to get the most yield out of it, when to sell, what to plant, crop rotation, planting a different field so that the nutrients in your soil don't get depleted by planting the same crop over and over again. And then those machines that you see on the fields, those machines, they have millions and millions of dollars worth of machines on every farm. You think my truck's expensive? This truck I'm driving right now probably, well, it costs over 200,000 Canadian. Those tractors you see on the field are much more than that. <laughs> I'm thinking a combine would probably be what, close to a million dollars for a good one? 800,000, one million? You farmers, you can you know better than me. It's a lot, a lot, and you rely a lot on the weather. You gotta be your own weatherman or weather, weather woman, weather farmer, whatever the right word is nowadays. Yeah. Thank God for them, eh? Well, I was saying it the other day, I'm, a, I'm kind of a big fan of food. So I like the farmers. What would we do without them, right? Almost eight billion people on this planet. Eight billion. Like we grow way too much food here in Canada to feed ourselves. We export it all over the world, but we feed them huge portion of the world with the crops we have here. Same thing with the U.S. Absolutely mind-boggling. But I'm just a truck driver. I just bring stuff from there to over there. We all have our part to play in this big machine we call an economy. And we all do our best to do our best even when the government throws a wrench into the economy engine. Brandon, Manitoba, Brandon. Just pulling in here for a cup of Timmy's and the asshole. In 800 meters, make a U-turn if possible. It's not possible, Karen. Keep dreaming. We're gonna go around to the back though, find a little parking spot, drag ourselves into the Timmy's. That's what you do. Oh, look at all this lovely, everybody's all nicely lined up here. How did that guy get in here backwards? How is that even possible? Obviously he came in the clearly marked exit. It happens, I guess. here and park beside that brand new van trailer. Look at that. Shiny. Doesn't even have a license plate. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that guy's roaring past me. Hope he doesn't park there. That's the driveway where people need to drive through. Dude! How are people going to drive through if you park right in the driveway? Oh, man. Guy right there. That's the only spot for trucks to come through and drive through to the exit. Parks right in the driveway. Oh man. Lots of park, you saw it, lots of parking over here. You're supposed to park over this way. I guess it's not clearly marked, but still there's an exit sign right there. So, you know, it's. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm gonna feel much better once I have my Timmy's. It'll put me in a much better mood. Guaranteed. You guys remember when I was on flatbed and I delivered all that, those insulation panels to this building over here?
over here on the right, just outside Porters of Prairie. Looks like the building is completely finished now and operational. I delivered a lot of that insulation on that building there with the blue strip on the top of the roof. I am a part of that. I think they make fries there, right? Some kind of food. Yeah, the building's all ready to go. Ha, that's pretty cool. South Winnipeg. Flying down to Permitter. It's about quarter after nine at night. Got a bunch of friends along with us on the window again. That's okay, because we're almost done. As long as this is our last traffic light. All we gotta do is get through this traffic light. Come on! Stay green. Stay green. I think we're good. I think we're good. One kilometer. Take the entrance to the right on RTE 20 North RTE 20 Highway 59 South RTE 59 BD Lajimadier and then keep to the right in 420 meters. What? In 800 meters, take the entrance to the right on RTE 20 North RTE 20 Highway 59 South RTE 59 BD Lajimadier and then keep to the right in 420 meters. Oh, gotcha. And from here we head home, so thanks for watching this today. Thanks for clicking the video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. That is the most important button you can click on this page. I'll wait. Appreciate it. Thank you. Diesel, is there anything you'd like to add? <laughs> We're already in the future here. We're tired. Uh, end of our day, but a little bit of home time footage coming up in the next couple of days. And then uh, we hit the road again going down south. Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that prairie scenery. <laughs>